We got a new What's in the Box. I'm super excited about this one. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Joe, and today this is a very special What's in the Box. I just got back from work, AKA the FFL, AKA Safety Harbor Firearms. This bad Larry showed up last week before I went to the gathering, which by now you should have already seen at least a vlog from the gathering 2024. If not, I'll link it in the description or in the card, whatever one I remember while I'm editing this video. Now, if you guys have been watching the channel for a long time, I am a huge fan of High Point. For many reasons, we had High Point on the show. It's going to be linked here or here, wherever the card shows up. Please check it out. It was a great podcast. On the Shooting Ones podcast was Dave from High Point. So, me and him were talking, and he knew I'm a big 10 millimeter fan. And today, we have the model 1095 carbine. All right, this is the High Point carbine in 10 millimeter. 10 Mike Mike, everybody. Let's see what comes in the box. Now, I have a couple other things in here that I don't think actually come in the box. Uh, this one does have four magazines in it. Since this gun is pretty much 50 state legal, they all come with 10 round mags. Usually only comes with one, but if you see other magazines, it's just because uh, I had this sent to me for T&E. Big shout out to High Point for sending this into the channel. But let's get into it. All right, we open the box up. I literally just got back from work, so this is like the most authentic you get. So I got a couple magazines here, so I'm gonna pop those to the side. Alrighty. Now, so in the box you're gonna get what is this? I think this is the magazine couplet. Uh no, this is the trigger lock and it comes with the tool. The tool is gonna be the most important thing. The trigger lock, you can toss that in the garbage. Don't recommend using trigger locks, but that's just me. But definitely you need that tool. It's your takedown tool. Uh, it comes with stuff you got to assemble. Uh, it comes with a sling, your sling swivels, and your charging handle. So I'm going to take that out in a second. What else? So like I said, it comes with one magazine. This is in 10 millimeter. All right? 10 millimeter. Now what else do we get? We get, ooh, we get a very nice instruction manual let's see what else we got going on here any stickers huh no stickers high point firearms you get this piece of paper oh this looks like a warranty card oh this is dope yeah this is your activate your warranty card and uh it looks like you can, there's a couple accessories you, get, you know accessories and stuff like that fill like your warranty card then there is this warning here for your magazines uh magazines must have proper clearance or frame will be damaged. So, uh, it shows you how to install your sling swivels. Talks about hang fires and how to avoid them, but you know, I've heard that uh, High Point's always kind of sent those. Uh, but I will say the instruction manual is very informative. I love the pictures in it. Shows you probably how to take everything down and maintain it, but always save your warranty ma uh, instruction manuals. Then you get the gun itself. It comes in some foam. What I do like is the warnings aren't on the gun anymore. It's just on the box. Because when I first bought my first high point, which I think the video is still up. We have $45.95, which was the 45 carbine. I had that way back in the day. I had to rip all that stuff off. So thank God that they don't put it on the gun anymore. With this being 10 millimeter, as I rip the box. Uh, it does have a cheek piece that I will take that plastic off. It has a pretty respectable recoil pad. Uh, again, guys, it's a high point. Uh, these things are made of the highest quality. Uh, and they actually are made of high quality. People shit on these guns all the time, but just look at that. Beautiful. It is threaded and the barrel thread is 578 by 28, so you're 40. I believe that is the 45 ACP thread pitch, so I'm almost positive a 45 ACP suppressor will work on here. I don't quote me on that. I will double check and annotate that in the screen right now just to make sure because I don't want to give you guys the wrong information. But let's see here. Magazine clocks in. There we go. Let's get the box off. Okay, just look at that. Comes with iron sights, and I will say the iron sights are actually better than the 45 I had. 
Um, I already have an optic I'm going to put on this. We're going to be putting the Viridian RFX44 closed emitter optic on here. They sent that out to me a little bit. And uh, I didn't have time. I didn't know what to put it on. I had it on a Taurus G3C. But I think it would be much better to install it on the high point. Getting a nice, it has about like an inch and a half rise or two. So I can literally just be like, oh, okay. So the optic's going to be right here. And uh, let's see. Before we close out, we're gonna go into our little bag of goodies. Guys, make sure you save all this stuff too. Big thanks to High Point for sending this in to the channel. Uh, I have been eagerly waiting for this bad boy to show up. Uh, you have no idea how bad I've been waiting. So we got that. Okay. Get the tool out. Now, I would recommend if you work on high points a lot if you're a gunsmith call high point either have them send you a couple of these but these takedown tools are so incredibly valuable uh you can take down the entire gun with this make sure you have a couple of them on hand they're very easy to lose i've had these lost in the laundry and since this is it looks ambidextrous too, or actually no, it's not. I think it's just only left side. It's, I always put it left side charging. Some people, that's just how I've always done it. Okay. A little bit tight, that's what you want. Oh, well, a couple more threads. I don't want to strip this out, but there we go. Let's see. Now, and it does come with a chamber flag in there. Most people are just gonna rip that right out. Oh man, that's sexy. Look at that. All right, broke the chamber flag. Come on, you can do it. There we go. And there we go, it takes a little bit. That extractor, I will say, is good. I don't have any snap caps to try out, but there we go. See that? There we go, boom. There we go. And let's see. Oh, wait, I have to drop the mag. This is just first impressions, guys. There we go. Let's try the trigger. It's really not that bad. It is a high point, but for what this gun represents, there's a lot of things that you should overlook considering the price point they come in. They're the most one of the most affordable firearms on the market, and this is literally one of the most affordable 10 millimeter carbines on the market so you could definitely hunt pigs with this home defense target shooting uh this could be a lot of you know uses depending on what you're looking to do with this gun and again for the price point they're coming in it makes it affordable for everybody to get into a 10 millimeter carbine guys thank you so much for watching today's video Many more videos to come on the 10 millimeter carbine. We really appreciate it. If you would do me a favor, comment down below. What do you think we should do? I'm thinking a crazy Cerakote color off the bat. All right. If you haven't checked out Liberty Bell Firearms, they sponsor the Shooting in the Woods podcast. If you use code JOJUICE, you save 20% off all of your Cerakote and laser stippling services. Check them out. Liberty Bell Firearms is one of my favorite Cerakotes in the country. Uh, and he's really cool and he's good at doing one-off stuff like he did the Kit Kat build but he does a lot of other camo patterns so check him out we're definitely going to try and get a Cerakote uh, camo on here I'm trying to think of a very cool and uh, kind of out the box type of uh, Cerakote theme so we're going to have to definitely get that optic I'm thinking angle foregrip I'm not going to get the traditional high point vertical grip I've never been a fan of that uh, but the fact that I got four magazines we're gonna have some fun with this bad boy if i can get this out this weekend i ain't gonna be so happy anyway guys do me a favor check out liberty Bell firearms number one two like this video three subscribe if you have not subscribed we are gaining so many subscribers recently and i am so excited and blessed my goal was to get 5,000 subscribers this year and we're well on our way. We're almost at 4,000 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed, please do me a favor, hit subscribe. Remember, the Shooting the Woods podcast is now live over on Rumble every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then it gets uploaded as the rebroadcast over to YouTube, usually between Saturday and Sunday. 
And uh, that's all you guys over on YouTube can still listen to the Shooting Lewis podcast if you don't catch the live feed on Rumble. Guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, stay safe, stay shooting. We'll see you soon. Peace. I've got the hot point.